I have with me this morning my tiny little pet fleas. Now you know what fleas are? Those little tiny bugs that eat your dogs and cats and make them itch? Well, my little flea loves Mountain Dew, so I keep him in a Mountain Dew can. I call it my soft drink. But he's going to come out and say hello because this little guy is actually a talking flea. Come on, say hello. <clears throat> say hello. Say hello. You're making me look ridiculous. Hey, what? Hey, You're talking. Yeah. Coming out. No. Coming out. No. <laughs> come on, see the kids. No. Why don't you want to see the kids? They got cooties. They got cooties. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't come out, no. I'm going to shake your can. No. I'm going to. Are you coming out? No. Why not? Sick. You're not sick coming out. No. You're right? No. Great. What are you gonna do for everybody? Walk a tightrope. Yeah. You wanna walk a tightrope? Yeah. Hop in the mic. Right. Stare right there. Right. Get your rope. Right. Avoid. Right. I'll get it. Right. Avoid. Right. Get it. Right. Stare there. Right. I'm gonna get it right, right now. Right here. <laughs> I've got your rope. Pull it out. Pull it out. Yeah. Are you on it? Yeah. I'll hold it high. Not that high. Why? Your eyes. Your eyes. Okay. Go ahead and walk first. Go ahead. Go ahead and walk first. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. What do you got now? Oh, he's got a little unicycle. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> you do me a favor. Pull down the rope. Put my chin up. You got it? <laughs> now what are you doing? What are you do a flip? Go ahead. One, two, three. Da -da. Well, that's pretty good. Let's see you do a double flip and end up back in that pot can. Ready? Right. Yeah, I love talking cans. <laughs> that little flea walking the tank road reminded me of Breaker's Oh, Goddard that has talking cans. I was a human cannonball. <laughs> I got hired and fired the same night. But anyway. <laughs> Tom, they didn't like your joke or something. <laughs> well, I thought it would be kind of fun here today to take a small time out to talk about hands. You know, our talk artists this week are using their hands to create beautiful pictures, glorifying God. And I think hands are one of the greatest tools that God has given us. We can use our hands in so many ways. But I want you to think a moment this morning of what kind of hands Jesus had. They were great hands. Jesus went around the countryside and he touched people who were healed, healed them who were sick by laying his hands on them with the power of God. Why, he also came upon a man that says in the Bible that I was blind. What did Jesus do? He reached down, picked up some dirt, spat on it. Made a little mud, put on that blind man's eyes, and told that blind man to go wash out his eyes. And after he did, that blind man could see through the power of God. And Jesus loved to hang out with young children just like some of these. And he used to pick them up and, them and tell them stories and laugh with them. And you know what? It was those same hands that Jesus picked up the small children with that the Roman soldiers put the spikes to where he died on the cross for you and me. But when we get to heaven, we'll see Jesus and we'll see those scars and those beautiful hands of his. The hands are one of the greatest tools that God has given us. We want to use our hands in a good way. And I thought it would be kind of fun to show everyone here how to make their own sock puppet. And I think the kids will enjoy this, especially if you're a Sunday school teacher and work with children. I think this is fun to do. Also, if you get bored, pull off a shoe, pull off a sock, make some new friends. I'll show you just how to do that. <coughs> now, to make a sock puppet, I use an old sock, a dress sock here. Take the heel of that sock and line it up to your knuckles. And you put it on just like so. Now this extra stock in here, want to get rid of that. So just jam that into your hand. Go find a rubber band. Put that around your fingers. Not too tight, don't our fingers to fall off. And one around the wrist. Now comes the fun part. Now you can use your imagination, make this thing into a bird, a fish, an animal, a person, whatever. We'll see come up with today. Dinos dios, senor. Excuse me? Dinos dios. You're speaking Spanish. Si. That's wonderful. A Spanish-speaking sock. Si. Why don't you count for everybody in Spanish? Si. Go ahead and count for them. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, cinco, six, oh, seven, eight, oh, nine, oh, ten, oh. <laughs> That's two different languages. I know they go. Never mind. What are you doing? I'm making a puppet. Can I help? You can help. Help. I don't know. Do a quick gag. Do a gag. <laughs> Can you take another sock and use this for hair or ears? Oh, look, what? Look like Hannah Montana. <laughs> I don't think she has dark hair. Oh, it looks like Cher. <laughs> I don't think the kids know who Cher is. Their dads do. <laughs> I can't see. Hold on. I certainly cannot see. Just a minute. I cannot see. Hold on. You take two eyes. 
there, right here, there, right here. And you put them on just like that. Oh, look, 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 look. You know where you are? I died and went to Disney World. <laughs> what makes you think you died and went to Disney World? Because I see Goofy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get Caleb mad at you. Yeah, you might come up here and bop you in the face. Nancy, yeah, you're you're stop before. Yeah. Did you take another piece of material? Yeah, use this for a dress. Excuse me? <laughs> this is a dress. A dress? You're a girl. Oh, I didn't know. You <laughs> <laughs> are a very pretty girl. And I'm gorgeous. Yeah, you're gorgeous. You're a guy. I'm a guy. I'm a girl. You're a girl. Say goodbye. Good, 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 